in the world are you we are back again with our little bible discussion you know we always be blessed by reading the word of god um i was just reading the book of numbers chapter 15 and i came across this verse it just caught my attention and um i just want to talk to you about it all right i think you're going to be blessed by it as always and the word of God, you always be blessed. You know, you always learn something on top of what you didn't know, before, what you have learned before to add more so that you can make this journey, that, you know, the Christian journey. You can have a better understanding of how to serve God and how to live for him. Now, this verse right here, it says, then it shall be, if ought be committed by ignorance, without the knowledge of the congregation, that all the congregation shall offer one bullock for a burnt offering, for a sweet savor unto the Lord, with his meat offering and his drink offering according to the manner, and one kid of the goat for a sin offering. So now it's talking about sin when the children of Israel would sin before God. And um, they would offer a sacrifice for their sins. But in this particular verse that we are looking at here, it's talking about two types of sin. You have the sin of ignorance and presumptuous sin. Very important. Verse 25 says, And the priest shall make an atonement for all the congregation of the children of Israel, and it shall be forgiven them, for it is ignorance. And they shall bring the offering, a sacrifice made by fire unto the Lord in their sins offering before the Lord for their ignorance. Verse 26. And it shall be forgiven all the congregation of the children of Israel and the stranger that sojourn among them, seeing all the people were in ignorance. Notice it keeps mentioning ignorance. Verse 27. And if any soul sin to ignorance, then he shall bring a she-goat of the first year for a sin offering. Verse 28. And the priest shall make an atonement for the soul that sin. How? Ignorantly. When he sinned by ignorance before the Lord to make an atonement for him and it shall be forgiven him. So when will God forgive him? When the sin was made by ignorance. Verse 29. You shall have one law for him that sinned to ignorance both for him that is born among the children of Israel and for the stranger that sojourn among them verse 30 but the soul that do ought presumptuously so you see that difference so before we were talking about the sin of ignorance what is ignorance you don't know you're ignorant about it when you're young you've been cursing You've been stealing, you've been fornicating, you've been, you know, doing things that she shouldn't be doing. There's a lot of people out there that are uh, gay, homosexuals. They dress immodestly, you know, they lie a lot, they go to the club, they drink, they party, they pot smokers, all right, they transgenders. All the sins that they are committing. Most of the times they don't know about it. So that's ignorance. That's the reason why the gospel is supposed to be preached. Because a lot of people are living in ignorance. They don't know what they're doing. They, they, they've been living like that since when they were young. Uh, you know, they probably grew up in a family where they, all they know how to do is clubbing, partying, drinking, smoking, fornicating. Because they were born out of wedlock. You know what I mean? So they didn't have like a father figure. They didn't have a mother figure. And some of them were in drugs, especially if they were raised in a project. You know, they they they, uh, they become the product of their environment. You know, a lot of influences, bad influences around them. So they do things that they have seen people around them do. You know, watching pornography, you know, taking drinks of shots, getting drunk, getting laid, 
you can name it. So all these sins they were doing is what? In ignorance. Most of the sin that I used to do when I was young, I was in ignorance. Most of the sins probably you used to do was by ignorance. You didn't know better. You know what I'm saying? So God is a God of mercy and of grace. In that sense, he will forgive you. Because you were in ignorance. God will forgive you. There's a lot of people out there that are living in ignorance. God will forgive them. But, in verse 30, it says, But, see, the soul that do ought presumptuously. So that means, what, what does the word presumptuously mean? Let's look up this word presumptuously. Now, let's take a look in the Bible to see how the Bible defines presumptuously. Let's see if we can find another verse in the Bible that talks about presumptuous sins. So now I found this verse in Psalms 19, right? I, I believe it was written by David. So verse 12 says, Who can understand his error? Cleanse thou me from secret faults. Verse 13. Keep back thy servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then shall I be upright and I shall be innocent from the great transgressions. So presumptuous sin is a great sin. All right. It's a great transgression. What is transgression? When you, tra when you sin against God's law. What is sin? Sin is the transgressions of God's law. So you break the law of God. Sometimes you can break the law of God ignorantly. And sometimes you break the law of God presumptuously. So the sin that you are doing right now, it's either you're doing it presumptuously or you're doing it ignorantly. So one of them you can be forgiven. The other one, you'll be in big trouble with God. So now we're back in Numbers 15. So it says what? But the soul that do ought presumptuously. So if you sin presumptuously, it's something you premeditate. It's something you planned. So you premeditate it. So whether he be born in the land or a stranger, the same approach, the Lord and that soul shall be cut off from among his people because he had despised the word of the Lord and had broken his commandments. That soul shall utterly be cut off. His iniquity shall be upon him. So people in America and around the world, People in the LGBT community, people in the music industry, uh, movie stars, sometimes they mock the name of the Lord. They make fun of the name of the Lord. They use the name of Jesus in vain and they follow with a curse. Okay? They do all sorts of sins. If you do those sins presumptuously, God will not let them go unpunished. But if you do it ignorantly, God will forgive you. So that's the reason why. Be careful. When you're preaching the gospel to somebody. Right? That person. If he was sinning. Ignorantly. And he hears the gospel. Guess what? Now he has no more excuse. Because he heard the gospel. That's why God wants us to preach the gospel. To others. So they won't have any more excuse. But if they know it, that what they're doing is wrong and they still want to continue to do it, they're mocking God, they're making fun of the word of God, God will judge them. Do you understand the difference? So that's the reason why you have to know. You can't just say you're living under grace and live however you want. If you are sinning ignorantly, God will forgive you. Just like the Apostle Paul. When he used to kill Christians in the book of Acts. What did he say? He said he did it ignorantly. He did not know. He thought by killing Christians he was doing the right thing. But he didn't know about it. That's why God forgave him and saved him. Then he became a Christian and he was preaching the gospel. But right now I'm talking to you right now. The sin that you are in right now. is Are you doing it ignorantly or are you doing it presumptuously? So if you know what you're doing, you know how to dress right. 
you know how to talk right and you still go down the street dressing like a immodestly and you still wearing those tight stuff that is going to entice men you are doing presumptuous sin and God will punish you for that he will make you pay for that but if you're doing it ignorantly now you're listening to the word you need to dress properly if you used to fornicate and I'm telling you that premarital sex is not good you need to be married in order for you to be involved sexually with a man now you hear this word and you still go out there and fornicate guess what you have no more excuse if you are homosexual and I tell you that the Bible says God says it is not good for a man to lie with another man or it's not good for a woman to lie with another woman you hear this word and you still go out there and do it guess what you have no more excuse that's why the words need to be preached, the truth. Preaching prosperity and preaching about money ain't going to help people to go to heaven. If somebody wants to learn about money, go to school and learn about money. Take a class about businesses. But when it comes to the gospel, it's about souls being saved from hell. That's why we need to preach the word of God so that people can know the difference between holiness, unholiness, uncleanness, and cleanness, and then sanctification when somebody is not sanctified. You must know the difference. So it's either you are doing it ignorantly or you are doing it presumptuously. One of them can be forgiven, but the other one, you won't be forgiven. You have no more excuse because you have the word and you know the truth. I'm going to stop right there because my time is up. I got to get to work. May God bless you. May God keep you. I hope this was a blessing to your soul. Until the next video, God bless.